Today, we're going to look at how Cost Becker Company sets, aligns, tracks, and manages their OKRs in GTM Hub. GTM Hub organizes OKRs and time-bound periods via sessions. With sessions, we can align and correlate OKRs that span different timeframes. We often see organizations have annual OKRs that are more strategic and quarterly OKRs which are more tactical. Besides these time-bound periods, we can change other attributes of a session, like defining how often people will update their key results, whether it be weekly, every other week, or monthly. And admins can adjust permissions to grant specific access to each session for certain roles, teams, or individuals. Now that we've created sessions, we can set our OKRs. I need some inspiration to craft this OKR, so I'll install an example from the marketplace. Here, I can filter by tags or search for OKRs to narrow down my choices. We're rolling out OKRs to more teams, so we'll look for OKRs about OKRs. Let's install this one, implement OKRs successfully. I'm working with Vicky on our OKR rollout, so let's create an OKR for her and align it to my OKR. From the alignment view, I'll add a child objective. We'll give our objective a name, onboard marketing team with OKRs. We'll assign this objective to Vicky. And as you can see, it's already aligned with my OKR. And we have a custom field to distinguish between stretch and committed OKRs. Custom fields like this one will help us build out richer reports, which we'll talk a bit more about later. I'll select committed as we aim to achieve 100% progress. Now it's time to add some key results. We have a few options here for calculating the progress of this objective, either as the average of its key results or as an average of its child objectives. We're gonna leave it as the average of the key results. Let's add our first key result. At the end of the quarter, achieve a 60% opt-in rate of team members who want to continue using OKRs. The key result type is should increase to, our target number is 60%. We'll make the initial number 0%. And as per best practices, we'll add a second key result. Invite team members to an OKR course and achieve 100% attendance. Again, this is a should increase to key result type. The target number is 100% and our initial number is zero. I want a quick refresher on how to technically craft a good OKR. So I'll take a quick peek at my OKR design score. Currently my score is 75. I've covered the first three recommendations. All that's left to do is to add some tasks to define our next steps. To achieve our goal, we'll need to research OKR courses for the marketing team to attend. This task supports one of our key results, to invite team members to an OKR course and achieve 100% attendance. So we'll make sure to link it. We're gonna assign this task to Vicky, and we're gonna leave it up to her to decide on a due date. We have a few more fields we can fill in here. For example, we can add a tag. I'll add a tag here for OKRs. I'm sure Vicky will have other ideas for this OKR. So I've at mentioned her here in the comment section. She'll receive a notification in app or via email depending on how she set up her notification preferences. I think we're all set with Vicky's OKR. I'm going to take a quick look at my previous OKRs and how they were aligned. So we'll go there. Here in the OKRs alignment view, I get a global and local picture of everyone's OKRs and how they are aligned. Of course, if someone has marked their objective as private, users without the correct permissions won't be able to view them. Let's expand my objectives. Okay, here's my OKR. You know, come to think of it, my OKR doesn't really belong here as a top level objective. We actually used OKRs to help increase the competitiveness of our software products. So I think I should realign. 
I'll enable drag and drop alignment and move it. Now we're going to take a look at home. Instead of going through the OKRs and tasks sections to find the things I need to keep track of, I can see those items here. Home is where I can update my to-dos, update my key results, and see our overall progress. We just hired another software engineer, Daniel Park, so I will update this key result. Hire 30 software engineers from the target list. I can click on update here, but I'll click on the key result directly to see the update history. We had hoped to hire 30 people before December 30th. Currently, we're at 15 new hires, including Daniel, that's 16. So let's update this key result. I can add a comment, so I'll mention Penny. Hey, at Penny. Daniel Park wants to start February 1st. We're not going to achieve this key result before the end of the year. So I'll update the confidence level to at risk and mention that in the comment too, that we'll continue to work on this OKR next quarter. Next, we'll take a closer look at our performance this quarter. Let's look at the full report. Here we can see the average progress of all OKRs in this session Everyone made progress on their OKRs, which is great, and together we believe we're on target to achieve our goals by the end of the quarter. We can also see progress by user, both by objective and key results, and progress by team. Here at the very bottom of the report, we can see progress by tag, and we see that we're at 81% progress for all OKRs tagged with OKRs. Not too bad. We've quickly reviewed the performance report. The performance report gives us a high-level overview of our overall OKR's performance. Now let's take a look at the process report. This report tells us how we're doing regarding our OKR's process. In general, we're struggling with updating our key results. Maybe next quarter, we'll work on automating more of our key results. And by doing so, we can make sure our data is up to date and folks can add context to be a note if they want to during their regular check-ins. To automate key result updates, we'd need to hover over an insight like this one and add it as a key result. I could also add this as a KPI if I wanted, so I can monitor it without committing to improving it. I need to review some of the lists we've created. We can use lists for lightweight reporting and can filter for specific objectives, key results, tasks, employees, and teams. Here are a few examples of lists we've created. We have lists of objectives for specific teams, like the sales and engineering teams, which are used to facilitate OKR review meetings. There's also a list of company OKRs visible to everyone in our account, so folks know what the company is trying to achieve and how we're progressing. Remember we had a stretch or a committed custom field? We've added a column here to see that data in the company's OKRs list. We've also created a list of our OKR champions, so our teams know who to contact if they have any questions or need support. I'm looking for a specific list though, so I'll filter for key result lists only. Ah, here it is. It's a list for key results not updated in the past three weeks. We've got a few key results with zero progress. Let's filter for those specific key results. And I'll go ahead and save my changes. Currently, this list is restricted. I'll change this to everyone can access to increase transparency. And I'm probably going to refer to this list a lot. So I'll go here to all lists and enable this toggle so it'll show up in the navigation. The best way to get to know GTM Hub is to try it yourself. Sign up for a free trial at gtmhub.com.